Good day, everybody. This is Lone Eagle One One Two Three Five Eight. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate it so very, very, very much. What do you do? Today we're going to take a look at New York City and how it has changed. Listen, we're going to start with the obvious here. Statue of Liberty is on Liberty Island. It used to be on Ellis Island, and also Ellis or uh, Liberty Island is property of New York State, but resides in New Jersey. So. Yeah. Now, let's take a look at the shape of New York. New York's pretty much just, uh, the same shape as before, but it has changed. This right here at the north here that you see, well, that is north of this here, um, is new. This whole inlet part. Um, I would almost go as, f as far as to say that this river is new, but I'm not going to do that because I can't say 100% sure. But I spent a lot of time in New York City uh, via Google Earth when I was going through my 9-11 heydays, and I was all over New York. New York uh, is something... I'm going to go there soon, but I remember uh, going through New York a lot, and it did not look like this at all. So, yeah, let's start here. Let's get this party started. Let's draw it. Let's start like this. So, basically, I started off by saying this part is new. Like it's, you know, it's really difficult to explain this part. It wasn't like that. It was, here, let's, uh, which end do we start here? Start here. So New York did that, came up, but didn't have that. It wasn't as pronounced as that was. Came down and just went straight across. It was basic, right? And then joined the land somewhere. The river split the land, but it was seamless. Okay, there was no bumps, you know, but right here, you could pretty much shave all of this off. Okay. That tells me that there's a lot inside right here that's brand new. A lot of buildings that don't belong. And we're going to take a look at it. It could even be over here too. Anywhere. Anywhere within here could be all brand new. But that bulge on the top should not be there. Well, I mean it's there. It just was not there for us on our Sagittarius Earth. Um, the same could be said down here as we come down. It just went straight across. There was much, not much to it, you know. And then I don't remember this river at all, but I'm not going to talk about that, you know. But now it's got deep indents in there. It's got that wave foundation. It's 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 standing out for me, for people who will notice this. All right, so let's take a close look at a couple of the buildings. We're not going to make a big deal out of the next couple of buildings, but they stand out. This yellow one. Um, like I said, I spent a lot of time on Google Earth and in New York City because of 9-11, just searching through buildings, and I have a affinity for skyscrapers, so when Google Earth came out with 3D, I spent a lot of time in New York City and Chicago, just everywhere with tall buildings, just walking through and going, my god, these are tall, and I just loved the 3D aspect, so I was down in Manhattan a lot. I don't remember seeing this yellow building at all, but... Buildings get built fast, ladies and gentlemen. So that's why I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these buildings. I'm just showing you. Here's another one right here that stands out big time. It stood out immediately. This one right here that looks like a Jenga building. Whoa. Right? You see that? But it looks like a new building. Okay? It could have been put up in the last five years and, you know, Google didn't put it up yet. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these buildings, like I said. This one right here, this brown one with no windows. We've went through this before. There's a lot of channels that have talked about this. Um, I look for consistency, and I'm seeing a lot of new buildings. Uh, because of this one, I'm going to expect other ones. So there's three buildings already. Um, this building right here, this one gets to me. I don't remember this at all, and it, it catches my eye every time, you know, just because of how long and like it looks like an S or a Z. Um, yeah, like I said, I've spent a lot of time in Lower Manhattan, Upper Manhattan, all over New York, through Google Earth, and this building, like, when I'm scanning through this, I'm looking for new buildings, this one stood out, okay, but I'm not going to say anything about it, it just stands out for me. So let's take a look inside the area that there should be a lot of new buildings in there, because this bulge here, it's either this, either there's a lot of new buildings in here, or this whole area shrunk, and we're missing buildings, Okay, like this area here, shrunk, shrinking this, bringing this down, creating this a larger dip. I'm down with that. I'm down with land disappearing. Um, I just don't know. Let's take a look. What's in here? And two things stood out immediately. 
So here's my first claim. So I'm going to look at New York this way. You see how it comes like this right here, then cuts in like that, and then continues? I do not remember that at all, ladies and gentlemen. I remember it continuing. Okay? So I'm just going to say that all of this right here used to be land. Okay? With buildings on it and everything. There was never no dip like this. Okay? Never no dip like this. It didn't cut in like that. So I'm like, okay, well, what's new around there then? What did they build there? So I'm looking around and I'm like, man, they got some really cool things here. No? I don't even know what that is actually. Hold on. Because I, I only checked up top first. Let's check the photos. I'll edit this part out if it takes too long. Yeah, the photos are terrible now. Like, Google, man. They really owned us on the photos. But you can tell, like, people can sit here. This is solid. Uh, this looks like, oh, these are tennis courts. This is probably lawn bowling. Um, mini putt. You know, it's a cool little adventure island area. But this is what caught my eye right here. This stadium. I've never seen this stadium before. And it's on the, the, the part where I'm claiming used to be land. I've just never seen this before. I'm sure I would have heard it right here. Pier 40. That's what it's called. Pier 40. Pier 40 Arena. Ever heard of it? Weird. Okay. Weird. I'm sure I would have seen. I, I grew up watching sports. I'm sure I would have seen some kind of sporting event at this place at one point or another. Whether it had been a major sporting event, an Olympic event. Well, I haven't seen the Olympics in New York for a while but or forever. But um, anything. I mean, look at that. That's so cool. And it's just all along here. Look, what do they got here? This looks like golf. I mean, like, not a full course. Maybe it's something to do. Or maybe it's just a park to stroll down. You see what I'm saying? I don't remember these at all. These are new. I get that they build buildings off the pier and stuff like this. You know, like I'm not like saying, oh my god, that's brand new technology. I'm just saying, like, that arena is brand new. This looks like a warship. Oh, it is a warship. <laughs> it's got planes on it. Look at that. Anyways, I'm not doubting that. I'm not going to continue on. But those that arena is what stood out for me. That's why I'm like, oh my god, that part must be new. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think on that arena. If you've ever been there, a sporting event. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's turn off the pictures and sally forth. So, that's what blew my mind on that part. Uh, the west coast of New York City. The west coast of New York City. <laughs> um, here's the next part. This one blew my mind. So, we're here. We're down here in New York or in Brooklyn. We're like, let's go to New York. Let's go to New York City for the day. Okay, let's go. So you start crossing this bridge, right? You're like, la, la, la. And then look at this new building. I've never seen this before. Look at this. They've got an arch welcoming you, welcoming you into New York City. This is brand new. I don't even remember this bridge, but whatever, man. I'm not from New York, but I don't remember this bridge at all in anything. Or, you know, movies, television shows, commercials, them building it. Um... I have a lot on my plate already. I can't really investigate what this is. I'm just showing you guys. If one of you guys want to pick up the ball and look into it, that would be great. But you got this arch, right? And just down the road. Well, not down the road, but just not far from it. In the middle of the city, there's another arch right there. Look at that. Boom. Now, a lot of us already know about this. I've covered this last year. But here's the thing. I... So I remember covering this last year. I just was like, oh, guys, look, an arch. Blah. The ball or bail. Um, oh, I hate when Google Earth does it. I mean, I dislike largely when Google Earth brings me out of it like this. That's so frustrating. You can't fault Google Earth, man. It's such a giant program. Yeah, but the tower, the arch there, I remember I was like, oh my god, they actually built the arch? I remember they were talking about it, but they never did. This one right here. And on Sagittarius Earth, they were talking about it, and they got a lot of... It got that, the idea that got, got shit on big time. But here, on Orion, wow, they got one there, and then the other one I just showed you right here. I do not remember the, these at all. 
<clears throat> Got a mosque here. I believe that's a mosque. Just a lot of new buildings, I believe. So let me know what you guys think. Take a look around this area. You're going to have to come here and check it out yourself. I do remember all of these complex buildings, though, like all of these ones here. These ones, these. I remember these because I, I remember uh, just being amazed at the amount of people that live in such a small area. Like I'm from a small city in Canada. Just this project right here would destroy my city. <laughs> I mean, it's so tiny compared to New York. So I, I remember these buildings. I remember them being shaped like crosses and stuff. And so that's why I'm saying the inside is either new or this island has shrunk dramatically. I can't tell. I need you guys' help. Um, this building right here, this pencil thin building right here, um, it's a new building, so I'm not going to say much about it. It was just built, but yeah, man, that's new. I won't say that's a Mandela though. It's just of this earth and they're building another one right here. But, uh, how much time you got? Oh, we're at the 11 minute mark. All right, cool. So, I mean, I'll just leave the video at that, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want to get, like, I don't know too much about Central Park. Um, I believe, I, no, this is the museum, right? Yeah, I don't remember where the museum was. I don't know. I don't know. I will say this, though. You see this road right here? It cuts across. It'll cut through the city and join Times Square. I believe, then comes down and cuts across the city again. Here, let's look at it. You see that? I do not remember that at all. That it, It's been bothering me ever since Mandela's hit me. That cuts through the city. You can see it. And it almost looks like it leads to that other. Like it, cut, it joins. Does it tell me it doesn't do that? Okay, it doesn't. But it goes to that other arch there we were just talking about. Boom. But ah, it's just something I noticed. Hey, you see that? You see that? You get off the bridge through the arch. Then you drive down this road. Look at it. Like it just cuts through joints here. Cuts through the city. And I get it. I get it. It's always been like this. But it's this right here. This roundabout don't remember that at all and then it then this road cutting through the city like this i don't remember that i've like i said man it's bothered me since day one but i haven't said anything but i'm just gonna throw it out there now but when i look at new york city i don't remember seeing a line or a road cut through it like that that's new to me but guys let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you very much for your time um, there's probably more to add to New York, but I'm going to keep this video short. If you've noticed anything, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll definitely bring it up in live stream or in another video. But thank you very much for all your time, all your support for this channel. Can't thank you guys enough. More videos coming out. And, yeah, love yourself, love your neighbor, and I love you. And catch, I'll catch you guys on the next shift. All right? Lone Eagle, 11258. Peace.